back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do another versus video. We're going to do sous vide Q spare ribs versus traditional spare ribs. So I bought these spare ribs last week, and I prepared them um, both at the same time. I vacuum sealed them both and uh, rubbed them down with some running wild peach rub, uh, threw them in the freezer. I just took uh, the other rack out that I'm going to cook traditionally and put those in the uh, uh, fr refrigerator in my garage so they can thaw out so they're ready to throw on the smoker tomorrow. These frozen ones, they're going to go in the sous vide bath right now. And we're going to sous vide cook these at 150 degrees for 24 hours. So tomorrow we will take these out right around 3.30 or so to throw on the grill to get uh, some smoke and bark for a couple hours. The traditional ones we will throw on about noon tomorrow and we'll cook those for five to six hours strictly on the smoker and we will see which one turns out better. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these spare ribs. smoker prepped here for the smoked only ribs and so the fires go on I only put one fire starter there in the middle because we're going to be cooking right around 225 to 250 so give it a couple minutes and I'll throw I'm going to put some uh, pecan wood on today so be back in a few minutes and we'll put our wood on all right guys welcome back all right I got the ribs out that I'm going to smoke only them out of the refrigerator and I'm just going to put a little bit more of the peach rub on from running wild just because uh, there's some of it came off when it's been sitting in there marinating so I'm just going to head throw a little bit more of that on and then the fire is coming up to temp and I'm going to put these on a rib rack today so this is going to go on the fire in about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll let that cook for about three or four hours and then we'll throw the other ones on so I'll be back all right, it's sitting right at 225, and the smoke's rolling pretty good. I'm going to throw that first rack of ribs on. And like I said, we are going to use our rib rack here. And since it's only going to be two racks, it's going to stick them right here in the middle. And I'm mainly using this so that they don't get burnt on the top or the bottom. Just kind of keep it uh, where it's got a good airflow on it. So... All right, that's that first rack, and we're going to leave these in here about three to four hours on their own. We'll come back and check them occasionally, make sure the temp is uh, staying right around 225. I'm going to close this down a little bit just so we can nail it in. I don't like to go overshoot too much because it's hard to get it back down. But All right, guys, we're going to see you back in about three, three and a half hours. Okay, I pulled these uh, ribs out of the sous vide bath. They've been in there for 24 hours at uh, 150, so they are completely cooked. I did put a little bit more of the running wild peach rub on there, and I am going to go ahead and throw these on the uh, smoker with the other ribs. They have been the other ribs have been on for three and a half hours, and we're going to let these cook on there just to get the bark and the smoke for about an hour and a half. The smoker's right at 225, but. We're going to walk out there and Sitting I'll meet right you out at 225. Smoker. And these ribs are looking pretty good, if you can tell. They got some good, uh, good bark to them. Nice mahogany color from that peach rub. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on right next to them. Like I said, we're just going to make sure that these get some smoke and some bark to them. So I'm going to go ahead and close this bad boy up. Make sure that the temperature stays right about where it is. All right, it's been right at about another two hours. So these ribs have been on for about five and a half hours. And these are 
the sous vide rips. And they've been on about an hour and a half or so, a little over an hour and a half. And they're getting pretty good looking. So we're going to leave them on there for, for another 10 or 15 minutes. And then we will take them off and chop them up and see which one turns out the better. I'll be right back. All right, guys, they are in. And they're both looking pretty darn good. So I don't know if you guys can tell which one's which, but I'm getting ready to cut these up. And we're going to have a taste test with a friend of mine, Adam, who I made the pastrami for in my pastrami video. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this stuff up. And he's going to taste which one's better. So I hope you guys got a good look at those. And we'll be right back. All right. Okay, I got my friend Adam Herkelman here. He is going to be my taste tester today. So he has A and B. He doesn't know which one's which. And he is just going to taste. They're both been seasoned the same. They've just been cooked a little different. So go ahead and try A. Okay. And just tell me, is it tender? Smoky? And then go ahead and rinse your mouth out so you, they're both been seasoned the same, so there shouldn't be any difference in the, in the taste. Just looking for the smokiness and the tenderness. And I used uh, peach rub on that, so no sauce. I don't sauce the ribs until let, I let people sauce them at the end. So. All right, now you're eating B. Okay, so it's more tender. What about smoky flavor? Um, not as much smoke, but yeah. Okay, so not as much smoke, but they're a lot more tender. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> so which, which one would you prefer over either one of them? I would prefer B. B? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, B is the one that was sous vide and then smoked. Okay, so probably I could have probably put a little bit more moisture on it when I put them in the uh, in the smoker. I should have sprayed it down with some apple juice. It would have got a little bit more smoky flavor. Okay. But the tenderness and the overall so flavor is much better on the on the sous vide one. Yeah, so, cool. I like the tenderness, of it, but I will say I like the crispy meat of this. Mm -hmm. So cool. I'm a fan of both. All right. You need them both, but uh, be, be a slight edge. Yeah, yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks for helping me out today. Sure. I appreciate you. it. You can eat both of those. I'm not going to tell you you can't have them now. So, <laughs> uh, All right, guys. Well, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I'll be doing more like this where we compare the difference down the road. So thanks again. Thanks for watching.